for. Yep, well, we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see the fruits of their labor right here in the first round. Bukovic, Bukovic in the gray with the red trim. Sims in the black trunks. Both men start out trading leg kicks. Going to midsection, now dancing around. Another midsection, there, and then there's the takedown. Bam! And with the slam, with authority by Vic Sims. Yeah, brutal slam here, but uh, Bukovic is not uncomfortable being on his back here. No, this is this is where jiu-jitsu guys live. They, they're, they do a lot of their offensive work coming out of the back. So this is just another day at the office for Bukovic. Bukovic now trying to work inside guard and picked up again and slammed up against the cage is Sims. Sims, a very strong competitor at, one, at, at, at this weight class. Yep, you see uh, Bukovic rolling for Kimura here. Sims got a pretty strong base. Looking for, and half guard right now, looking to transition to side control is Sims. Sims raining down with the right hand, now the left. Bukovic is trying to punch him away, now trying to look to work in a, a triangle. And that head's open. And Sims got a, he's got a, he can't leave one of his arms there. He's gonna have to move. No, no you cannot leave your arm hanging out there against bars. against a jiu-jitsu um, fighter uh, with the caliber that this man has. Bukovic's uh, jiu-jitsu caliber is, is second to none. Now, unlike the uh, amateur fights, you can see him drop elbows here. Pro fighters can drop elbows. They can, they can, they can kick to the head. Um, they still can't kick or knee a down opponent, but but it's going to be a little different. He's got the triangle here. Yeah, Bukovic has got that head trap with those legs. Oh, he's he's got the arm hard. trapped yeah, in there. Trying to work the rubber guard by holding the back of the foot. Oh, he can have it here. Sims got to fight out of this. He's got to use that yeah. power and jackhammering away on the head. Sims now working the knee to the body, trying to trying to get Bukovic to release his head. He's got to keep working to the side there. Yeah, he does. Bukovic is where he wants to be. This is the world the man operates in. Well, he's free now. That was Sims' power that got him out of there. He was able to weather the storm. He did not freak out when he was stuck in that triangle. Worked his way through it. Kudos to Sims. Yeah, that can't be a... Uh, a I don't think that's a talent as much as a skill. You know, it's something a learned trait to be able to, to hang in there when, when you're in danger of being choked out and not panic and find a way out. Side control employed now by Sims. Sims trying to work the head again and now trying to roll him to his side. And you see a big, some big swelling under the, under the left eye of Sims there. Yeah, it looks like we got some blood right there. Be interested. I, I think that's coming off Bukovic. That has a monster swelling, as you said, right there on Sims. Yep. But uh, Sims is giving it back here with his right hands. Sims is giving it back beyond <laughs> beyond what Bukovic is doing with the striking. Sims definitely getting the better part of, of the striking so far in this matchup. Yep, uh, I agree. I, but Bukovic is still in there, and he's still got that ace in the hole, and he's still looking for submissions, and this fight could be over in a hurry if uh, Sims is, is, doesn't stay careful and solid down there. Well, Sims has to play this match as a, as a chess, chess match going up against somebody like Bukovic. You know, if he goes in with the wild flurry to try to end this thing, Bukovic could grab a hold of that arm, sink a Kimura, and this thing could be a W for him instead. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Both fighters continuing to work out of guard right now. Sims pushing Bukovic up against the cage wall. Sims continuing to drive forward, still working the head. He landed that left. That was a solid left. He landed. Oh, there now he's raining that hard now. This could be it right here. Sims opening it up and letting it loose right here with many successful shots to the head of Bukovic. Wow, I mean, that, it, he saw the opportunity there and he absolutely pounced on it. Those were, he was throwing hard punches there. Yeah, he was definitely throwing everything he had into it. You know, this is the thing, is where, this is where Sims works so well is, is in these positions. And oh, sneaks a, sneaks a right in there, two of them. And they're right in Sims' corner. I mean, he's hearing everything they're saying. They're literally face-to-face -face right here on the side of the cage. Huge advantage for Sims. That's kind of the way it worked out. Yeah, Bukovic in no man's land right now. Absolutely. Eating, eating these punches mm -hmm. far, far away from his corner as the clock winds down in this period. Sims uh, continuing with his assault on the head of Bukovic. He's got the arms bound here, and he's, he's looking at some of these hard body shots. Oh, that's a nice elbow. 10 seconds being signaled and this round should be coming to a close shortly 
Bukovic going to stand up. Sims not letting him, and that's the round. Nice round for Sims. That was five very violent minutes of action there, Andy. Definitely uh, what we came to see today. Definitely what we came to see. Yep. Well, both these men, great representatives of, of their background right now. Crenshaw looking like the, the typical fighter that you see that comes from a wrestling background in the MMA. Very strong on the ground, able to control, able to work ground and pound, smashing away at the defense of Bukovic. Bukovic, on the other hand, though, did have some, some moments of success there, especially when he sunk in that triangle. I thought that that could have been the match right there. You know, I... I thought the same. I thought there was definitely a possibility there, but as you look over in the corner of Bukovic, I mean, he is, uh, uh, no doubt he's in, he's, he's in peak condition and he's trained hard, but he looks, he's, he's tired. He's been carrying Vic's, uh, Vic Sims for the better part of the five minute round. So uh, he's definitely, uh, he's, he's gassing a little bit. Yeah, Bukovic was, was, was waning back and forth on that stool over there. Now that he's up, he's looking a little better, but he definitely looked tired over there. He took a lot of shots there. But Sims, I wonder how bad the eye is on Sims right now because that thing was swollen shot in the first round. So he's really only working with about one eye right now, the right eye. Yeah, but it, it, the cut's not in not in a terribly bad place. I mean, it's not above the eye where, or not really the cut, but the swelling. It's not in a place where it's going to impede his vision. But these shots are definitely landing right now. He's looking at not make it, make it a non-issue. Sims tees off, throws, goes into the cage. Bukovic able to scramble, get up behind. Now he is on the back look, look, looking for a choke here. He's got a hook in. He's going to uh, he's gonna have to try to extend him a little bit. Uh, you hear Sims Corner telling him the mule kicked the leg and, and try to try to pot up and, and get himself out of there. Now this is where, you know, where wrestlers don't like to be on bottom. We, we, it's, it's not something we, we enjoy. We, we equate it with losing himself. Be, being down in the situation that, that Sims is in could be, uh, you know, we, we're taught to react quickly and, and, and stand up and try to get out, and that, that you know, that leads to, to submission attempts uh, with good jujitsu guys. Well, right now, speaking of good jujitsu guys and submission attempts, that's what Bukovic is doing as he's all over the back of Crenshaw trying to work in a choke. You can see Sims working that right hand into the face of Bukovic to try to peel him off him, but Bukovic has got control right now, has got his legs locked over the midsection of Sims. Yeah, so he's got the anaconda. He's a uh, figure four on the body, and that that takes a toll right there. And really, what Sims needs to do is he's got to make sure he controls one hand. He can't get choked with one, with one arm. And if he can control one, then that's that's going to be enough to keep him alive. But this is definitely a, a bad position for uh, for Sims. Yeah, this is not where Sims wants to be, especially with this much time in the round. You know, this is like trying to fight a snake off your back for about three minutes right here, trying to avoid that choke. And this is something that Franklin, you know, as a referee, is not going to step in and separate. Right here, Bukovic is actively going for a choke. And so this is something that um, that Sims is going to have to try to work his way out of somehow, some way. Yeah, and Sims is doing a good job of controlling one arm. He's doing a good job of, of staying with with that one arm. Now, on a position here with, with his back to uh, Bukovic's chest, while he's on top, I think this is a position that's a little bit easier for him to breathe than, than the opposite. So, Sims is in a relatively good spot. If he can get any space in hip height so that he can get through uh, and wind up in, uh, in Bukovic's guard, that's what he's going to try to do. But you see, uh, Bukovic has his right foot curled underneath the knee. Hey, you're out, you're out. Sims uh, was swinging back wildly with those fists. actually opened up a cut hands, on the bridge hands, of the hands. nose of Bukovic. No, no, he's got to get height now. He's got to get. Uh, Sims has got to get height, and uh, Bukovic needs to needs to extend him again with those hooks. Sims grabbing hold of that arm now, working his way through it. Now he's looking for his own Kimura. He's definitely trying to try to get himself into a. A better position, trying to get himself out. But uh, I got to tell you that, that figure four on the body, man, that's a, that hurts. That hurts bad, and that hurts for a long time. And that, and that's also, you know, right now Bukovic is, is forcing Crenshaw. I'm, I'm sorry, forcing Sims to carry his weight here through a lot of this match, you know, this period. Yeah, I think I think we're going to be in the opposite situation that we were uh, in between the, uh, the first and second round where, where we felt Bukovic had uh, maybe gassed a little bit. A lot of energy extended by both men right here. Bukovic extending energy, trying to get a submission. Sims expanding much energy, just trying to fight the, trying to fight the rear naked choke back and off of himself. Well, you see him there uh, start, uh, starting to 
to work into a hip high spot. Not anymore. He's, he's out of there now, but but he needs to, he needs to create some, some space somehow in that figure four and, and be able to, to hip heist his way on top. But it's just not, it's just tough to do from that position. I mean, it's just one of those really oh. painful spots. Wow, that was a nice little back fist. That was beautiful right there by Sims controlling Bukovic's arm and then sneaking that fist back in there. I've been very impressed by Sims in this fight, being able to find Bukovic's head without seeing it. Yeah, it, you know, he's not exactly doing huge damage with those, but 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 he is giving uh, Bukovic something to think about. And he is, uh, you know, oh, there he is, now he's out. Passes it back into guard, and that and that's a and that's a and that's a small victory in this fight right here for Sims being able to hold off that choke and get back into disposition. And now he opens up. Pass, pass. Bukovic now trying to raise the hips up. Sims all over him. Now Sims working fist to the body, coming back in with hammer fist to the head. Ten seconds being signaled. This one's going to be going to the third round. Absolutely. Oh, maybe not. Look at this. North, south, and working the body. That's the round. He may have stolen that round, truthfully. I mean, I still, I, I still give that round to Bukovic, but I don't know. I mean, uh, that's one of the. He, he could have stolen that round in the last 20 seconds. The damage that he did, and in the reversal, and you see the body language of the two fighters when they both got up there. And I, I, Sims looks like the fresher guy. Well, Sims definitely showing confidence. He was literally dancing in his corner there before they got him sat down on the school. Bukovic immediately getting sat down on the stool with his corner, getting water. They're talking to him. I, yeah, I don't know how to, how you would score that round because obviously the opening part of it and in the, in the first three to four minutes it was Bukovic trying to work that submission, but then you saw Sims reverse that get out, go back to guard, and then open up just a barrage of damage at the end and capping it off an exclamation point by some huge body shots at the end of that round. Yeah, I really feel like he did the most, he probably did the most damage in that round. Uh, it was definitely a situation where Bukovic controlled the first part, but, but was he really hurting him? I mean, he, the body triangle definitely was hurting him, but, but the, the shots that were thrown, not so much, and he wasn't able to, to <clears throat> secure that choke. Big shout out to WEBN for setting up the, the Riverfest event down here and letting us do this, and I think these guys are making this an event to come and see as we start the third round. A Bukovic versus Sims. Sims goes for Bukovic goes for Sims drops him. Good shot, there, I tell you. Bukovic's head just snapped back like he was in a car wreck. I don't know, but Sims needs to be aggressive here. I mean, this is uh, he's got him hurt. He's definitely got him hurt. So yeah, Sims, Sims is going to be more aggressive than this to finish it off. This is giving Bukovic time to recover after he ate that huge punch to start the round. Got his back, he needs to do something with it now. There we go. Yeah, he does, he does need to work it. Now he rolls him over. Bukovic is really hurt. Yeah, Bukovic is hurt, but Sims has got to try to finish this. And now, and now Sims continuing to work the body with the elbows and now working the head. And that's it. He knows he out of time. But as soon as he landed that first shot, Bukovic just wasn't the same. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this fight at 59 seconds of round number three by referee stoppage due to vicious elbows, Sick Thick Sims! One more winner for C Prime, Omari Kittrell. Omari Kittrell, go to the C Prime booth, pick up your prize. Sick Thick Sims, everybody! That was, a, that was amazing. I'll tell you what, that was a great fight for you. Now. The question I have for you, you know, how does this fight compare to every other fight that you've had in your career? I mean, you're here in front of your family, a lot of your friends are here. Uh, how does this one compare? Uh, you're probably going to start getting these out of the face. Good fight. It's a great fight, and those outlaws, I'll tell you, they are killer. What do you think in your background prepared you most for this fight? My, my training partner and my coach, we worked on a lot of stand-up, and I knew he was a jiu-jitsu guy, so I was really trying to keep his stand so I can say I'm a training partner and my coach. Tell you what, you wore him down out there. It looks great. Congratulations, Dick. Keep it up. Great words there from Vic Sims.